how right here I am in beautiful sunny Southern California and I am actually not too far from um, Santa Barbara just kind of here visiting but what I wanted to do was to kind of also maybe take this opportunity to visit with uh, dental engineering laboratory and Dr. Uh, Buchanan but before I get uh, going however I figured I'd play a little bit of tennis the only time in a year I'm not a good tennis player but every once or twice a year that I come to California it's the only chance that I get a, a little bit of chance to play a little bit of tennis so I figured I'll do a little bit of tennis today and then uh, drive up to Santa Barbara and meet up with Dr. Uh, Buchanan and just uh, talk to him for a little brief talk I figured I'll take you guys along with me all right Jeez, I'm already exhausted. I'm not in shape. Time for a quick shower and get on the road. Well, heading out here on the Ventura Freeway, out to uh, visit with uh, Dr. Buchanan. It's gonna be about an hour or so drive, hour and a half drive. Gonna beat up from uh, tennis, but I think I can make it. Now, by the way, some of you had asked, how come I'm wearing glasses now? Well, you know, you hit your mid-40s and then your eyes go down to hell. I've always had 20-20 vision, never had any, any issues at all with my eyes. In fact, I never had an eye exam until you hit the mid-40s. Go get them tested and now I'm going to need glasses. Well, the worst things in life, I guess. That's all burnt out from all the fires that, that they've had recently there. Finally here, Santa Barbara. Let's get inside to Dental Education Laboratory. Hello, look who's here. Look at this place. We're gonna saw the true teeth and the true jaw. We use all the true teeth in our courses. It's awesome. And these are all those big prayers that make them. That's terrific. That's the next step. Look at this. The one and only. How are you? Great. Nice you. Thanks so much for the meeting up. Boy, you look at this operation. Oh my god. Not bad. This is a dream operatory right here. Oh my god, look at this. Um, we always talk about how microscopes improved our posture from loops yeah we don't talk about the fact that it's not health healthy to be sitting in one exact spot Absolutely. for 45 minutes or an hour at a time this would be something really helpful it's helping to replace it yeah. now in terms of the uh, true visions compatibility with different microscopes what are the options here this is how you install it oh so take your ocular module off. that goes on you just put scope. the camera on it's got the same shoe as your ocular and we're we'll good to go. Sweater, kind of a, yeah, and these or, are these are made for neurosurgeons. Look at this. Okay. Whoa! Look at this. You guys can't see this now, but this is totally 3D. Oh my God, that is awesome. So do you have that? It's a pretty good replication of a surgical procedure. I it think. is. It's no wonder it's called true jaw, right? That's very true to the I, I think real the anatomy. Thing about surgery is unlike endo where we can use an extracted tooth not attached to a patient. Surgery usually practice on a pig jaw which really doesn't teach you anything or right. on a human. <laughs> it's hard to find humans as a volunteer for that. Anatomy is fascinating. Yeah, it's your right. So now I see. Well, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, let's talk a little bit about high flow. The most important part of this, uh, this uh, new sealer is uh, the sealer that it's based on. Um, the, the hardest thing to design and, or invent or develop uh, is a new filling material because time is time loves a hero and only time can know if it's real to quote a little feet lyric but um, uh, after five years you only know that it works for five years and we have the example of Reslon which failed at six years to as a cautionary tale so the most important thing to me is that it's been around for 10 years and proven itself the second most important thing is the net expansion of the sealer changes everything it's, you've been so great at uh, eliminating, making obsolete uh, lateral condensation with the three-dimensional effect that we can get with just cementing a cone with BC sealer is phenomenal. And that's a big service to patients because needlessly weakening the roots to put accessory cones in 
never made any sense to me and now we have an alternative that's so far superior so that's great news the only issue I had was it crusts up if you heat it and so uh, being warm got a perch a nerd like a lot of my colleagues uh, we like to say that that's one of the things that discriminates us uh, from some other people some other specialists other GPs but we like to warm it up and push on a little bit mm -hmm. Small lateral canals less than two millimeters in length are easily filled during the cementation. If I've got an MB2 or three branching off mid root, turning right and going up five or six millimeters, I'm not gonna fill that effectively with just cementing the cone to place. That's why I wanna bring a little bit of heat and condensation force to bear. With that said, it's a, it's a really short down pack. I mean, but because the, the cedar doesn't shrink, I don't have to down pack within four to six millimeters of the terminus. And that's, that's where the hardest part of the continuous wave technique comes from is get it that far down, it's easy to get a backfill void because mm -hmm. you're not gonna get your needle to the, the, the same depth that your plugger's gonna go. And you only did that because we had to thin the cedar layer out because it's gonna shrink. It, once it's not shrinking, awesome. Let's do a four millimeter down pack. Take a radiograph, make sure that you like how it looks, but. Uh, I have seen not less but more anatomy filled yeah. because the, the low surface tension stuff is really pretty amazing. What's also interesting is the fact that it's hydrophilic and we work right. in human beings that are 75% water. Right. But somehow up until now we've been using all these hydrophobic cements, right? Right. I've been using the high flow as well, even with hydraulic condensation, mm -hmm. which, you know, which was a one cone technique, but also in some cases where, as you just explained, if there is more hydraulic pressure needed, then I would mm -hmm. down pack, as you mentioned, just about four millimeters or so. Now, one of the right. things I've done is also mm -hmm. I've tried to backfill with the bioceramic, that four mm. millimeter, oh. with the high flow using, right. you know, design some new uh, tips that are going to be able to backfill with it. So That'd be you brilliant. Actually, you know, that's at four millimeters, so mm -hmm. once it sets, you can get through it easily as well. Uh huh. Would you use uh, Facet RRM for that? No, you can actually use the BC High Flow as well. Well, then how do you? So, so when what's the set. what's the setting time? I actually don't so know. So the setting time is uh, is still about four hours, mm -hmm. but. But what you would do on top of that, you can actually uh, uh, cover it up if you want mm -hmm. with either the putty or just uh, straight up uh, right. whatever you use for provisional. There is a, a BCERM that's in the horizon as mm -hmm. well, which is a dual cure by ceramic that could mm. go on the chamber oh. immediately thereafter. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's an interesting thing. Now, one of the things I really love about mm -hmm. this is the high radio opacity. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, um, if you're a three-dimensional warm gutter perch jockey, uh, you live and die by seeing lateral canals at the end of the case. We call it the, it's about the look, right? It's the thrill of the film, right? So it's not gonna make the case work better, but it's certainly gonna make you look smarter to your referring dentist if you're a specialist. Mm -hmm. But the BC sealer, uh, as originally formulated, is a li little less uh, radio opaque than the pulp canal sealer I'm used to using. Now, it's le that's like over the top radio opaque, mm -hmm. like H plus is. Right. But I just said, well, if, if, if it doesn't make any difference to the, the formulation, we don't have to reassess uh, how well this is going to work. Within the formula you have, please make it more radio opaque. And uh, Quan Su Yang was able to do that. And that's wonderful. I'm, to be honest with you, I love the flow of the high flow. and. But the main draw is that high radio opacity yeah. because, yeah. you know, even though I use the hydraulic condensation, the cases mm -hmm. look denser. So you can actually see now those lateral canals that, mm -hmm. um, that were being filled with the BC sealer, regular mm -hmm. BC sealer, but now you can actually uh, see a little bit more radiographically. It's easier um, to brag about it on the yeah. treatment report. <laughs> right. Validate your... You don't want to point, say, <laughs> note, the, note the lateral canal and then pal the root and they can't see it. That's right. so true. But in terms of chemistry, it's pretty much the same as the regular BC sealer. It, the chemistry is ideal. Particle size right. is just a little bit smaller so they can flow mm -hmm. better. There's right. a little bit of additives. Uh, they add a little bit of, uh, so the zirconium is is their uh, radio pacifier, which is great mm -hmm. because it's, it's bound by the um, the material that, that sets up in this. And um, there's no change in the formulation because they used just a little bit more of the same radio pacifier that they use in the BC, and that's uh, zirconium, which is really nicely bound in the, the setup chemistry. Yeah, which is also a very biocompatible type of a uh, radio pacifier, <laughs> so we can get the best of both worlds. Terrific. So see some of your cases that you've done using the high flow. They all look as usual, beautiful. And, uh, but, but, but Steve, also our viewers, you know, we all know that the success doesn't come from the obturation, right? What is the Absolutely key to, not. The, to, to success? It's, key to success is said, it's, if you can kill all the bugs, you can put glass on them at the orifices and not fill the root canals at all. It'd be a little hard to get paid by the insurance company, that's right. but that is the truth. The only reason we fill root canals is because 
To date, we've never been certain that we have a sterile root canal system. So yeah. we have an opportunity to get another two to 5% success by sealing anything that's not dead inside the root canal system, yeah. put it into a dormant state. Disinfection is key to success, obviously. It's it is, just, uh, it is. Well. So Steve, you have basically popularized vertical condensation. You've, uh, anybody else that I can think of, you've had the most influence in terms of after the sugar, obviously, to, to popularize vertical condensation. And you've always used the uh, um, the Kerpal Canal Cedar, mm -hmm. cedars uh, such as that, ZOE, or resin-based uh, cements. So why is the main, what's the impetus for changing from those to the bi-ceramic now? Well, um, as I mentioned to you, changing sealers is one of the most scariest things you can do. It's like you're an implant surgeon for 20 years, and if you change your fixture, you're going to have you're going to have some failures before you get back into the groove. So it's a serious thing. I've only used Polkanow sealer because of the properties it had that really made the shielder technique work. When we were doing flame heated heat carriers, that's how old I am. <laughs> flame heated heat carriers and pluggers and going in and out and always the opportunity to pull the whole cone out of the canal, uh, pulp canal sealer has a certain tenacity that would help hold the cone in the root canal. So that was one of the advantages. The other thing was it's super biocompatible because it sets up really quickly. Not totally biocompatible, but the quicker uh, sealers go off, the sooner they become less toxic. Um, and uh, so I've always liked that part of it as well. Um, it, so it take a lot for me to, to change that. And so I changed for the simplification of the uh, three-dimensional continuous wave technique. And you're right, the continuous wave technique is a simplification of the Schilder technique. Schilder right. invented vertical condensation. We do center condensation. It's all, everything involves right. all the time. But, but being able to down pack four or five millimeters and get the same outcome three-dimensionally as we used to, we're going way within four millimeters of the terminus of a root canal, that's a huge difference. The Compatibility. Although pulp canal sealer um, sets rapidly and is relatively biocompatible, it's not totally biocompatible. This stuff is. Yeah. And our experience with MTA really informed us about where what we should expect from our materials. Before MTA, nobody ever thought it, you could have a perfect seal and perfect biocompatibility. And now, now, yeah. we, now we it's demand that. It's a continuation that, right? of the same exactly. uh, yeah. trend uh, that uh, you started in terms of understanding the importance of filling the canal in three dimensions and the full volume. And I think we, we had we got approach it was probably the best filler we had mm -hmm. at the time. So now as we're moving towards the bi-ceramic era, it seems like, you know, the question is, well, why does it have to be got a pressure? Maybe it could mm -hmm. be a larger volume of bi-ceramic, which as you said also, it can expand and it's biocompatible, it can get bonding. So we have a lot of advantages packed together. Thanks so much for your time and uh, it, was, it was wonderful visiting you at the, uh, the Dental Education Laboratories. Put a little link here below for uh, any of you who might be interested in attending any of your courses and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing you more. Great, great innovation and uh, endodontics and uh, all the great stuff. Thanks so Thank much you for all the, all the contributions you made for us, oh. it's, it's They've been huge. I really appreciate it. It's been great to be associated with you. Well, time to head back home. It was a great lunch with Victor uh, Buchanan. Lots of good uh, conversation as well. Leaving the beautiful Santa Barbara. Don't forget to follow us on the social media and subscribe to us on the website at rewildendo.com and post your comments below this video. And for Rewildendo, I'm Alan Isset, and let's save some teeth.